This week, ABC News is taking an in-depth look at the problem of global warming. Global warming. Climate change. Climate change is already affecting us now. Climate change is real and man-made. The only questions are how we're going to deal with it and try to prevent it getting far worse. The solar Mobile is Manipal University's official solar car team and our car is solar electric road vehicle that is India's first solar passenger vehicle. My name is Arvind Naik. I'm in my fourth year of engineering. I've been part of the solar Mobile team since my first year. Right now I'm in the senior technical team. And India receives a lot of solar power, 2 into 10 power 8 kilowatt hour. According to research, if we can use at least 1% of that energy to drive our mobility needs in passenger vehicle platform. We wanted to bring a solar passenger vehicle into the market that does not depend on the fuel prices and is clean for the environment. After designing, the main step towards the completion of the car was the manufacturing stage. I'm Anubrat Gangopadhyay. I joined Solomobile in the powertrain segment and went on to lead the manufacturing team. We started with the chassis. Complete chassis was welded in our workshop by our teammates. After that, we had to move towards the manufacturing of the powertrain, which was the main heart of the car. The final and the most important stage of any car is the bodywork. Our bodywork is made up of fiber reinforced plastic. That material has to be molded, which was a very difficult task, which was done in Udupi as well as in Bangalore. That was the intricate shape of our car. When it comes to electrical cars, you require a lot of safety, and the first thing that people think of electrical vehicle is the electrocution and shocks and other things. So actually, there are a lot of safety standards that you have to obey and you have to take care of. I'm Rishikesh Rao. I joined in my first year under the Autotronics and Vehicle Subsystem and eventually went to lead the subsystem. There were a lot of parts in this car where we had to actually redesign and come up with new ways because there were no such conventional ideas or protocols that could actually fit our requirements. After a lot of brainstorming, we finally managed to redesign certain aspects of conventional vehicle which would fit a solar vehicle and actually make it perform much better. In January, we faced a big problem, which was that we were supposed to take this car for international competition, but we couldn't because of delays. All the three years of effort which had been put in could have gone in vain. I am Amol Grover and I joined Solomobile in Structures Division, but later went on to lead the mechanical part of the team. To justify all the help and support which we had got from university and the industry and to fulfill that uh, dream, we finished it in the next four months and finally were able to launch the car on 22nd April 2015. Campus Diaries reached out to us and discovered us to showcase our project at Young Innovator Space at InnoFest 2015. It was a huge success because Mr. Jain Sinha drove the car and Mr. Mohandas Pai actually sat in the car. So we got a lot of praise from the industry. So it was a great success. Solarmobile has completed two cars till now. First car was a single-seater car. The second car was a two-seater passenger car, which was first in India. We wanted to show that as students, we got it to this level. Now, as industries, you should take the next step and bring out this kind of project into the market. So the next team has to improve on this car. We are in a phase of constant improvement. That's what I think defines Solar Mobile. Uh, we want to showcase to the world that we are, we are going to bring this to the market. That is the legacy that we are going to leave behind.